Lovelines, it's Nico. Um, I'm currently coming off like a week long migraine. I kid you not, it's been terrible. It has completely kicked my little elven butt. Okay, my not so little elven butt. But oh my god, it is one of the worst ones I've had in years. And this, this is saying something because I actually, uh, my migraine doesn't go away. Usually it's in a workable, livable capacity. I have been suffering with a consistent headache slash migraine um, for almost 20 years now. So I'm in my 30s and I didn't have it when I was like 16. Uh, so yeah, that's fun. But I had gone um, a certain amount of time without having a migraine a couple of years ago. I am severely anemic and I also have severe blood loss, mainly because of like periods and stuff, yay. But I have a lot of blood loss. I've always had, um, I've always gone to see like doctors and stuff in my, my youth and it was just one of those things that, that I was told, well, some ladies have very heavy periods and some people are just in pain and you have to live with it. And that's what I had been doing until I was hospitalized a couple years ago because my white blood count was severely below normal. Um, yeah, that was fun. But... Then I actually went to like a hematologist. I think that's what the blood doctor is called. I don't remember. I'm a, I, d I don't remember. And he checked my levels and stuff. And I was like one point away from needing a blood transfusion. And he said he wanted to hold off on that and to try iron infusions instead since I had like a very minimal iron count. Um, I always have had an iron deficiency since high school and I don't absorb iron pills and stuff well actually I don't absorb iron pills at all I've had supplements forever and it just it does not take um so I had iron infusions and it was like a miracle I went almost two years without without a, a daily headache it was crazy it was like a veil lifted anyway Coming back around, I've had a killer migraine for a week on top of my, like, my daily evil migraine that I've learned to live with again. Um, I will be seeing a doctor. Don't worry about that. I need to, uh, do some insurance -y things and <sighs> adulting stuff to see a doctor to deal with this because I, I can't, I can't deal with this anymore. It's just terrible and all that. Anyway. Week-long headache. I am so sorry because I just, I babble. Um, I'm doing this weekly update video on Saturday, even though I have been trying to do them on Mondays. I have a feeling that on Monday I'm just going to be super busy with live chat and with sculpting things and everything else. So I wanted to do this here, today, now. Um, so currently, since it's Saturday... I'm having the macaron creation, magical macaron creation adoption. There. I'm pulling out one of, one of my pieces. Do, 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 do. We have cuties like her that's currently up for adoption. She's really rough. She's a nude body type. I'm working on, so she's being sold as is at a bit, at a little bit of like a discount. She's covered in macarons. She's adorable. I love her. And she's already been adopted, so you know who you are. And her horn. Focus. Whatever. It's light like sherbet green, but it has emerald glitter on it. She's a beautiful girl. I love her so much. I'm glad she's going to the home she's going to, because then I can visit her. Anyway, Magical Macaron Adoption is currently happening. I have already started on the fruit series, the strawberries, for the month of February's. I'm trying to pick up my little straw sea turtle. He's not completely done, but he's getting work done. Custom color, you can see that glitter. It's a custom color strawberry red. And 
we have pink and a bright leafy bright green. He has his nose. He needs to get his eyeballs and signed. But he's so cute. Look at he's a little leaf. Anyway. Working on those currently, I'm trying to get ahead of the game, even though I know I'm probably going to end up falling behind the game. And I think I have glitter on my forehead somewhere. But I have, I have lots of custom strawberry color clay that I mixed up earlier. It's really pretty. And it's with that special, super, super special glitter that my mother-in-law gave me. I am sorry that this camera is doing things, but I'm holding it. So yes, that is the update. I'm working on strawberry sculptures this week for the Friday's adoption. Hopefully I won't get this migraine coming back and kicking me in my butt again. I hope not. I also, my dad and my stepmom, my mama Kathy, they are still down in Florida. I don't know when they're going back up, but we're going to have a family dinner on Tuesday. I'm looking forward to that. And I do have a couple of customs that I have been communicating on. So I have some, I have some pretty awesome customs coming up. But fruit series adoption next Friday. I'm very excited about that. There is also spotlight market night Friday. So not next Friday, this Friday. Fruit series this coming Friday. Um, spotlight market night is this coming Friday. I have my piece. She's still not baked. She's a big girl. Um, let me, let me carefully try to pick her up without a squishing this baby girl. Look at her. It's a dragon eye bottle. She is beautiful and covered with rainbow rhinestones. I'm going to put her down now. I still have to test my bigger, um, convection oven. I haven't done that yet. Migraine kicked my ass. So, yeah. That's, that's, that's it's, it's the truth, but it's also a good excuse. So, I need to bake her up after I test my oven and see if it is actually a true two-temperature cooking baby or I'm just going to have to invade my sister-in-law's house. We'll see. Yeah, so, strawberry adoption, spotlight market night. There will be a night market in Laura's lair, but that's not till next month. Sure, I think. I think that is the weekly update. I'm just working on Straubs right now. Straubs creatures, they're so cute. Even though I only have the turtle in my brain, in my mind, they're cute. I don't have a haul. I don't really have to get supplies, thankfully. I did that. <laughs> I did that earlier in the month, and I have a lot. Um, my shipping area is actually really nice and cleaned right now. Mm. I guess there's not a lot to report on. That's not terrible, but I guess it's it's good. So it's not terrible. I just kind of feel like it's a little bit of a letdown because it's not really an update other than, you know, working on strawberry creations and spotlight market night. Um, I am going to have one more wave of macaron creatures. They will be macaron chibis of some sort for the next chibi adoption in two weeks because I still oh I just did that to my nose because <laughs> I still have macarons left not a ton thankfully I've used most of them but I do have a goodly amount of macarons left and I'll be making some macaron chibis for the last wave of macarons hopefully that'll be out of my system we're going to move into February March March, I am going to start with St. Patrick's Day stuff. I have some very cute ideas I will be revisiting that I've done a couple years ago. And I have March's theme written down, but I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. Hold on. I actually have the important books in my life. Um, this book, this big fat notebook, has ideas for things. Secret ideas. I am, I do believe in unicorns. All right, put that down. And then this beauty is my planner for the year 2018. So let's see what I have for the theme because I know I wrote down the theme. Macarons for February. 
Oh, uh, March is going to be fun. March's theme is ladybugs. So be prepared to see lots of ladybugs this coming month. Oh, I'm actually, I'm really looking forward to that. And then April, apparently, I don't have a theme ready for April, but May's theme is supposed to be Krakens. And then I don't know what June's theme is. June is probably going to be, um, get ready for Comic-Con theme. <laughs> and July will be my birthday theme, and I have no idea what that is, so we'll figure it out. Alright, Elflings, I love you. Um, and I will talk to you later. Bye! Mwah.